Oh my gosh. Let's check it out. So here we have it. It is finally here. The Tears of the Kingdom Collector's Edition. I am so excited to get into this thing. We will be checking out everything in this box. It does come with the game itself, of course. An art book, which don't worry, we won't be looking too much into, as I'm sure there are heavy spoilers for the game in that. A pin set, and also an icon art steel poster as well. Right away, the box looks amazing. The big gold Tears of the Kingdom logo right in the center looks awesome. And the circle design is continued from the front of the box to the sides. As we move to the back of the box, we get this cool Zonai hieroglyphic design that has been seen in trailers with this big wave of malice coming over the top of Ganon. I mean, there's been plenty of speculation as to what this means, but we won't get into the story right now. Regardless, it makes the box a really nice piece of the collector's edition itself. I'll definitely be keeping this all together as a set. Opening this up, we immediately see the steel case and the box with the four pins set. I absolutely love that each piece in here is individually wrapped in its own plastic. I mean, this is a collector's edition after all. Underneath that are the instructions for the steel poster and the box containing the steel poster itself. The four pin set is packaged nicely in this black and gold box that actually reminds me a lot of the 25th anniversary 3DS Nintendo sold a while back with Ocarina of Time. Sliding out the inner box, there are the four green and gold enamel pins. I really love how these look. They look really nice and are actually high quality pins. They sit in a really nice foam box. If you do want to leave them out on display, the box is going to be perfect for that. Now, each one of these pins has its own very unique hieroglyph that will surely be revealed as to what each one means in the Tears of the Kingdom story. But I am almost certain each one represents its respective champion with the set representing all four. If you aren't sure what a champion is, spoiler alert from Breath of the Wild, these would be Rivali, the Rito champion, Daruk, the Goron champion, Mifa, the Zora champion, even though most of you like Sidon, and Urbosa, the Gerudo champion. Link is, I guess, an honorable mention, but I guess he gets enough shine and doesn't need his own pin. I could, of course, be entirely wrong, but four pins, four champions, I'm sticking to it. Either way, this is a really nice pin set. Next up is one of my personal favorite pieces of the collector's edition is the steel case. We have more of these really cool Zonai hieroglyphics. Now it is a little bit of a spoiler to mention who is on the cover and on the back cover. So I won't say that for now, but we do have more Zonai hieroglyphics on the back as well. It has a really nice smooth matte finish on it and also says the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom on the spine. Inside the case, there appears to be a massive battle going on that I cannot wait to be a part of. Overall, this case is really cool. It is one of my favorites, like I mentioned. Though, honestly, I don't envision my cartridge spending much time in here. Speaking of the cartridge, we do, of course, have the game itself. I feel like I should mention this did come sealed as well, of course. I just took the plastic off first for the sake of the video. The case is pretty standard. The box art is the same box art that we've seen advertised for forever now, so nothing really too surprising here. As we open it up, we do have more of the same battle scene on the inside as the steel case. Now I may be showing my age here a little bit, but man I miss when games would include a booklet of some sort. Anyone else? And of course, we can't forget the most important part of the entire collector's edition. The game cartridge itself. We have a nice big Tears of the Kingdom logo with the same scene that's on the back of the steel case. It looks really nice for how small these cartridges are nowadays. 
Next up, we have the art book. Now, this book is gorgeous. The book itself is a piece of art. It has the big gold embossed Tears of the Kingdom logo in the bottom right, along with a huge matte black embossed deboss design that resembles the Ultra Hand ability in the game. And also has a glossy black pattern that we've seen on the special edition Tears of the Kingdom Switch. As we move to the back, it has Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom art book on the spine with the nice green circle design, as well as a huge glossy black insignia on the back. You can tell this book is really well made. Now I won't show too many pictures from this as I'm sure there are massive spoilers in it. And to be honest, I haven't even looked through the whole thing myself. I just wanted to flip through a few pages just so you can get a peek at some of the gorgeous art that is in this book. The art style of any game is one of the first things that draws me to it. So I love being able to check out the early concept art, especially for a game like this. Now I'm curious, what usually draws you into a game the most? Let me know in the comments. My two big ones are the art style and the music. And we already know Tears of the Kingdom has some incredible music in store for us. I would have loved a special edition vinyl for this. I'm so glad this was included because I cannot wait to come back to it once I've gotten into the game. Last but certainly not least in the slightest, we have the steel poster. The instruction card here may be hard to read on the screen, but it basically just lets you know the best ways to hang this up and display it and gives you some warnings on what not to do with it. Again, we have this epic battle scene on the box continuing from both of the game cases, the Tears of the Kingdom on the side and the manufacturer name icon art on the bottom of the box. As with the rest of the entire collector's edition, this is nicely packaged with a little piece of cardboard to protect the face of the poster, and right under that is the poster covered in tissue paper with a magnet on the back for hanging the poster up. Taking off the tissue, we get this beautiful full scene of the cover art for Tears of the Kingdom and a really nice glossy finished steel poster. We got Link up in the Sky Islands, looking down on Hyrule. It's just a really, really nice decorative piece. Well, there you have it. You get the really nice steel poster of the cover art. You get the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom art book. You get the four pin enamel gold and green set. You get the steel case and of course, you get Tears of the Kingdom itself. What do you think? At $129.99 US dollars, is it worth it? I absolutely love everything about this set. From this to the OLED Switch, Nintendo killed it in my opinion. Without picking the cartridge, let me know in the comments which part of this is your favorite item in the collector's edition. I'm torn between the steel case and the art book. I don't know which way to go. Could be a toss up. Be sure to like and subscribe for all the Tears of the Kingdom content I got coming your way. We got streams, videos, shorts, all that stuff. Thank you so much for chilling. Now, if you will excuse me, this game is screaming my name. Thanks for chilling. Peace.